Thank you, Jared. Well, Russia is blaming its own troops for a deadly airstrike that killed dozens of Russian soldiers over the weekend. Fox News senior foreign affairs correspondent Greg Palcutt has more from London. It was the deadliest single attack on Russian soldiers since the start of the war. Moscow raising the death toll from a weekend missile strike to 89. And we're learning more about what led to that strike. Ukrainian forces reportedly firing six rockets from an American launch system. Two were shot down, but four hit a barracks full of soldiers. The Russian military blaming those soldiers for using their cell phones in defiance of a ban put in place months ago. This factor allowed the enemy to locate and determine the coordinates of the location of military personnel for launching a missile strike. Russian forces retaliating with a rocket attack against a sports arena and residential buildings in Ukraine's east, prompting further condemnation from Ukraine's allies. Russians are increasingly turning uh, to critical infrastructure, to energy targets, to civilian targets, uh, and that to us reeks of barbarism, desperation. Meanwhile, amid mounting losses by Russian forces, there have been multiple reports of a possible new Russian draft, which could come as early as Thursday. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky meeting virtually with a number of Western leaders on Tuesday, building support for what could be a massive new offensive in the coming months. On the eve of those new mobilization processes being prepared by the terrorist state, right now is the moment when, together with our partners, we should strengthen our defense. On Tuesday, Vladimir Putin announced the deployment of a new hypersonic missile, which he claims is the world's most advanced. In London, Greg Falcon, Fox News.